Let me take off my do-rag. What's up, Wavers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going over my after haircut routine to keep my 360 waves trained and healthy. I'm gonna go over products and what brushes I use. I just got a haircut. I got a low fade and my hair is at a two. I like to keep my hair on the thicker side. I know a two isn't really that long, but I don't like to go below a two. Lowest I'll go is a 1.5 but I like to keep my hair thick enough so I can comb my hair because I like when I'm able to pull and control my curls. So I do like to keep my hair around a two, 2.5. I did a wash and style before I got a haircut uh, just to make sure my hair is super trained and super laid. So I do recommend uh, doing a wash and style before you get a haircut just to wash out all your old products and just to make sure your hair is laid and you could see your waves before you jump in that barber chair. All right, so with that being said, let's get right into the routine. All right, Wavers, so the first thing I do is I spray my hair with some water just to hydrate my curls and add moisture back into my hair because I did a wash and style. There's no products in my hair, so I want to rehydrate and moisturize my hair. After that, I put in a moisturizing cream all throughout my hair. Uh, this is the first step in my moisturizing routine. And then I just grab a comb and I comb everything throughout my hair. As y'all can see, I'm starting from my crown and I'm flowing directly all the way into my pattern. This is just so my whole pattern flows with each other. You want to start at your crown and then work your way down uh, just like that. And I'm basically just combing the products into my hair. Next, I'm adding in an oil. This is to seal in the moisture. Uh, like I said in my how to moisturize video. Um, you want to add moisture into your hair and then you want to seal it in. I sealed it in with castor oil and now I'm just combing it back into my hair. As you can see, my hair did get a little bit frizzy from the water. Water does uh, frizz up your hair a little bit, but you just want to comb your hair until it's fully dry and all the products are moisturized. Just comb them back into place. So after I use a comb, after I lift my hair up with a comb, I jump in with a soft brush. Um, depending on how long your hair is, you could use a medium brush if your hair is a little bit thicker, but my hair is at a two right now. So a soft brush is going to do a really good job at moving my curls and training my waves. And as you can see, I'm getting in that crown isolation. I'm making sure my crown looks good and I'm helping it flow in with the rest of my pattern. So that's very important when you're brushing your hair. You want to isolate your crown, make sure it looks good and even. Pretty much you could brush until your hair is fully dry or you could brush until your pattern is completely laid. Um, so I pretty much brush for around five to 10 minutes until my pattern is a lot more laid and I get rid of all the frizz with the soft brush. My crown area was acting up a little bit. So I had to go back in with the comb to really part out my crown again. So that's a good tip. A comb does a better job at, you know, parting out your crown than a brush does. It just detangles your curls and it spreads your curls in a way that, uh, really helps isolate your crown. So if you're having any trouble with your crown, um, I recommend uh, isolating your crown with a comb. And I'm going to the angles are up on the screen just so you guys know how to properly do this, um, just to make your crown symmetrical and make it into a circle. Then I jump back in with the soft brush to lay everything back down. The comb always lifts up your curls, so it's always important to lay everything back down with a soft brush. Then I like to quickly get in a session with the plastic bag just to get rid of any frizz before I put in my next product, which is shea butter. This is just to give me a slight hold to my waves and to also lubricate and seal in that moisture. And then last but not least, I get in the plastic bag just to help the products fully absorb into my hair and to lay down any frizz, especially around my crown area, as you can see. So get in like a five minute um, plastic bag session just to polish your waves, lay down any frizz. And All right, that's pretty much my routine. That's how I moisturize my hair. I moisturize my hair twice a week and I wash my hair once a week. And the method I just did, that's pretty much what I do every day. I comb my hair, I brush my hair, and I do the plastic bag method. The only thing I don't do is I don't moisturize my hair every day, like I said, because I don't want too much products building up on my hair. Just wanted to show you guys uh, one of my routines. I have many routines. Um, I'm gonna continue to make videos on different routines that you could do. So just comment any routines you want me to make. Lastly, I just rag up just so I protect my hair and just to keep it laid. All right, y'all, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.